In the last unit we looked at how to put walls into your model. Now I'm going to show you how to create openings in those walls. So as an example I've got a very simple building with just four walls. I switch to a 3D view. You can see our four wall instances there. So let's go ahead and form a wall opening. I switch back to my level zero floor plan. The wall opening tool can be found on the architecture menu and you move along to the opening panel and up there you will find wall opening. So I select that, put my auto reminder to save away. I select a wall, click a start point for the opening, click an end point for the opening and the opening itself is created. I'll switch back to my 3D view. There is the wall opening we've just created. You can create these directly within a 3D view, so I'll do another one now. So remember architecture, opening, wall. Select a wall first, click a start point, click an opposite diagonal endpoint for your opening, be whatever shape you you want that to be. And there is our wall opening. Once you've created your wall opening you can adjust its properties just like any other element within Revit. So I'm looking at an elevation view here, the south elevation. Here are the two wall openings I've just created. Let's take this one here. So if I select it, in the properties palette you can see the properties, i.e. its parameters and values. So it's got a top offset, a base offset, a base constraint and a top constraint. You'll remember these from the last unit on walls. So at the moment, this wall opening is related back to level zero. Level zero is set as both its top constraint and base constraint, and then the top offset and base offset are just used to define the height. However, we could set the base constraint to level zero with a zero offset. We could set the top constraint to level one with a zero offset. We apply those and now we are simply using the levels in our model to control the base and the top of the wall opening. Just going to select that wall opening again and show you that you've got four little filled in triangles here which are going to control grips just to demonstrate that you can manually adjust the height and the width of that opening directly within a view. If you want to form a door in Revit we've got a door tool and I'm going to show you how that works soon. Likewise if you want to form a window we've got a window tool. So what exactly is the wall opening tool for and when would you use it? I find it useful for small ad hoc openings in walls for example where we got services or structural beams that, that need to come through the wall and we don't want the wall to clash with them. So for example, let's say we've got a suspended ceiling at this level and this is a party wall. If I go to wall opening, cancel that screen there. We might want to put a small wall opening in this wall to allow duct work or pipe work or a structural beam to come through this wall so it doesn't clash with it. And that completes this unit. To get the most out of this training material, please take the complete course online at bimscape.com. Here you will find a complete learning management system that allows you to work through the course at your own pace. Comprehensive written tutorials provide additional information to that found in the training videos. 
Mark each unit as complete as you finish it and move on to the next. At any point you can return to any of the units you have previously completed to go over the material again. If you'd like to take this course online, please visit www.bimscape.com forward slash Revit for details.